Spouse. I, Jan, take the right, my lovely wedded spouse. Cleaving unto the end, forsaking all others. Cleaving unto the end, forsaking all others. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. The ring, please. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. I pronounce the man and wife. <laughs> Wait a minute, here it is. 
We're here. Gotcha. Gotcha. This is different. They've been mutilated. This is the most fortunate meeting, lady. I've been having terrible pains lately. Not as terrible as the one you give my neck. Go make camp. All right, all right. Come on, you lugs. Get this. What's on the menu tonight? Well, kidney beans and pink beans. Here's a can of Boston bake. Why not mix them all together? Cook up something exciting. Yeah. Like lobster a la Newburgh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, One, six, three, four. This is Sergeant Mahoney from Bantac. One, six, three, four. Sergeant Mahoney calling. One, six, three, four. This is Sergeant Mahoney. Uh, reporting location. One, six, three, four. Captain, we're about 300 miles north of Bataan. It'll take us at least a month to get to Manila Bay. Yes, Captain. South by East, 60 miles. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Captain says, look out for zoot suits. Come on, what did he say? He said, south by east, 60 miles, then we come to a river. I know the place, that's north of West Shore. 
Anything else? Yeah, he says step on it. There might not be any manila when we get there. Arms, Arnie. Oh, that'll do. Let me fix a fresh dressing. I brought this along. You did? You're terrific. Well, first, I'll look after some of the others need attention more than I do. Thanks. Great guy. A great gal. You know, you remind me so much of a little girl in Manila. <laughs> Here it comes. You know, I can tell this better myself. First thing he'll tell you, he thinks he don't deserve it. Well, I don't either. The only reason she goes for him is because she saw me first. Play down. I dream of Jeannie with a light brown hair. Oh. Ought to see how yellow her hair is. How blue her eyes. You know, the goofy part of the whole thing is, we were raised in the same county in Pennsylvania about 30 miles apart, and I never even laid eyes on her until we traveled halfway around the world. <laughs> Where did you meet her? In Manila. In them days, we were flying a plane there, until Junior volunteered to be a hero, and we got shot down at a bush last week. There we are. Me. The all-American tech. Solid concrete from the neck. Both ways. Now, I always used to dream about a girl like Hay Dutch. That's what everybody calls her. All right. How are you? I don't know. What do thing? think? Speedo bites, I guess. Here, give me a hand, somebody. Right. Get him up. Pushing ahead. That's an order. I'm in command. I'll take it easy, sir. We'll make camp here tonight. Sure, you wake up in the morning feeling like a tiger. That is, if this guy don't keep you away from me talking about that thing.
everything but his gun. The lieutenant decided to stay a while. Hiya, buddy. What's cooking? Where's the Dan? The Dan was evacuated ten days ago. We're just picking up the leftovers. This is the last boat before the Japs get here. The leftovers. That's it. I'm on leftovers. the southern exposure just a room <laughs> smells wonderful in here doesn't it reminds me of it the ritz on saturday night well i'll tell you doc they'll take care of you in there and we'll go in and report to headquarters well, you better go with me no no i'm all right i'll go to headquarters with the general Reporting, sir. Mason, sir. <laughs> well, so you got All through, right. eh? <laughs> That's great. Hello. I'm so glad yeah, to see you. Uh, hey, Captain Moore, this is Dr. Stockton. We met the doctor and his wife in the jungle up north. Mrs. Stockton was also a doctor. Oh, I see. Very fine surgeon, Captain. Well, that's fine. We could use a few more surgeons around here. Sorry. Oh, Nick, you? Well, <laughs> oh, 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 you should have seen it. Mrs. Stockman took a bullet out of there. It was that bi the biggest bullet I've ever seen of her. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I won't be able to put you in the plane. There isn't one left. You'll have to do your shooting from the ground. Are you kidding? More walking? Oh, my dogs. <laughs> ah, you live through it. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> Starting up again. You'll get used to it. It's amazing what you get used to. All the snarls up. Everything's fine. You in there, Doc? Yes, Pinky. Come in. Your husband's reporting surgery. He'll be down in a minute. Oh, yeah. for me. Oh, Pinky. Been no plane this time. You don't have to worry. I'll be seeing you. Take care of each other. Oh, Pinky! Pinky! Nice going, soldier. Here he is, a dirty. Let me take a look at you. You'll do. I'll take the first one off. Thanks. You haven't got a lipstick, have you? Sorry, I left it in my other pants. You see, Jan? You could have knocked me over with a 12-inch gun when he walked into surgery. So you married him. I'm glad for both of you. Thank you, Mike. Why did you do it, Mike? Why did you walk out on me? Don't, don't answer. I'm sorry, I am. That was a long time ago, Royce. Get yourself all dolled up, Tiddy Winks. I'm taking you and Dan to the Waldorf for supper. They've given us a free 
entry. Afraid you cut yourself. Quit squawking. Why, this is nice. Why not in the open air cool? You'll be asking for more money next.
step on it. with Pittsburgh, right? What would you do? Preparation and probe for the fragment. Where would you affect that? The basal jump. Go ahead. You do it. Right. like this? Sometimes it's worse. Well, you're doing fine, right? I'm going to find some place to sleep. Well, Doctor, have you seen my, uh, seen Dr. Royce? No, I haven't. situation into non-existence. There isn't any situation. Not anymore. You must be half ostrich. Why don't you come up for air? You still love her? I used to. I remember one evening we spent in the park planning what we'd do when I got the first big appointment. I had 15 bucks. We were going to be married and live on my salary. She said she didn't mind our being poor. Everything was swell. And the very next day, she went out and rented the most expensive offices in town for me. She installed equipment a hospital might have been, just because she had the money to buy anything she wanted. And you made a fool of yourself. Rushed out and married a woman you didn't give two snaps about. You know, Mike, you threw away four lives that night. Yours, hers, mine, and your wife. Did you make Penny happy? No, I'm afraid not. Well, that pleases 
is just where we were six years ago. Two men in love with the same woman. Quickly time we settled that situation, huh? It's all settled. Is it? Yes, it's settled. What you mean? Every time I hear a siren, I think it's an ambulance. Sometimes I think I'm going crazy. You mustn't worry. But when you're that way about a guy... I felt about someone like that once. That wasn't love. There was no security in it. No peace. It hurt too much. I don't care. I don't care how much it hurts. I know what I want. I want to marry Pinky and settle down and raise a family. Pinky's crazy about kids. Pinky's a fine boy. All my life, I've had five sisters, pretty ones. The boys were crazy about them. <laughs> I had to wear braces on my teeth. <laughs> they did all right by you. Pinky wants to wait until we get home to get married. I'm afraid if he sees my sisters, he won't even look at them. You'd better get some rest. Why don't you sleep yourself? I just got to take a look topside. I'll see you later. Well, here's your rations. Don't overeat. Uh. Biscuit. Uh, they ought to give you something to dunk them in. Yeah, like carbolic acid, for instance. <laughs> Morning. You know this is mule meat? Yeah. You know, I've been beating the stuffings out of them things for 20 years. They should get an even with me now. <laughs> what gives? For tan pheasants, you know. Huh. Camouflage Japs. I was dreaming about a great, big, juicy hamburger. With onions. The relief is coming on. Good. Got a few more hours to live. We don't die from starvation. I don't want to die that way. Or from malaria. I want to die fighting. Yeah, if we only had something to shoot. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you something.
kind of gooey, but I, I saved it for you. You would look good on a little farm. Don't, Pinky. Well, we can dream, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, let's dream. And you can. You won't get any when they start the daylight raids. I'll go with you. Hey, Dutch. Wake up, honey. A truck just ran over your legs. Oh. Sleeping out is what it's cracked up to be. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> in a guardhouse. If there is a guardhouse, get us all in, will you? All right. See you later, Dick. How's about a hot tub bath full of nice soapy water with bubbles? I thought. <laughs> I thought you were 
serious. I didn't understand why he wanted it. Come on. I knew I could rely upon him. Sure. Hey, Mr. Bailey, you want to talk to me? Preserver of all mankind, giver of spiritual grace and life everlasting, send thy blessing on these thy servants, this man and this woman, that they may remain in perfect love and peace together. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Leaving. I'm all right. Oh, 
I'll see you, sweetheart. Senses. Jan, dear, please. I'm beginning to feel like a ghost myself. Here we are in a living room which doesn't exist, talking about a girl who's... and something that happened a long time ago. And instead of being thankful that deep down inside there's something solid like this rock we're standing on, you're still running away, burying yourselves underground. Do you know that the first basic fundamental truth that enlightened human beings was received on a rock like this, Mount Sinai? And to prove that truth and to spread it to the furthest corners of the earth, you know what happened at Gethsemane. And there's a rock, too. And now all of us here, we're standing for truth. In its broadest sense, there isn't time for anything else. Still the analyst, eh, Jan? Analyzing us right through the gates of eternity. That's what we're facing, you know, any moment now. And why do you think I feel we're so important? Because we're dying for something we believe in. Call it democracy. Well, that's what it is. The individual's right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That means yours. And yours. And mine. Well, you understand what I'm trying to tell you? It's all right. Never mind. I'm getting off the soap part right now. So long. Jan! I'll... I'll talk to him tomorrow, of course. Jan, please wait for me! I wasn't upset. I, I just wanted to be with you. Would you mind kissing me? I'd love it. Honey, you look after Michael, won't you? What do you mean, look after Michael? He doesn't need looking after. Oh, yes, he does. Very much. And you'll stop being afraid. You'll be honest with yourself. I am honest. Kiss I talk on, sweet. Here's that kiss I promised you. You will be careful. Okay. I'll be careful. Thank 
Lieutenant, senior officer, your own command. You will exercise your own judgment. Okay, we're hanging on.
Get me to South Dock. It's medical GHQ. Here's your passenger list. Nurse Albright, Briggs, Buckingham, Carter, Chandler, Donovan. Why aren't you ready to go? Didn't you get your orders? I'm not going. I'm sorry. You can't make me leave. I can make you leave. I'm not thinking of you now, Royce. Nor of me. What about Jack? What would he want? He just like you. He want me to be safe. Then we'll see that you are safe. Get ready.
escaping solution doors, bandages, sheets. In other words, we're out of everything. That's it. Do the best you can. You need your operation waiting for you, Doctor. Men of the blood red rock, Corregidor, the rock, the living rock for which you died, freedom still stands enthroned above the war. No treacherous foe can scale that mountainside. Your dying hands rebuilt above the world, a fortress for the unconquerable mind, a mountain with a sky of stars unfurled above it and the hope for all mankind. Men of the rock, far over sea and land, your thunder-cloven crests once more grow bright. America, the torch in her right hand, re-crowned with fire, is moving through the night. America, by land and sea and air, moves to her dead. Let all her foes beware. Hey, Maria, hey, Maria. 